Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are doing oh so well, and welcome to today's video, which is a video on young English star Jadon Sancho, who plays for Dortmund, who's one of the biggest names in world football at the moment. Now, I'm posing the question, should he want to leave Dortmund in the summer or any near window? Why he should consider Chelsea Football Club above all other rival teams. There's plenty of reasons and I'm going to tell you them all. A quick reminder for you guys to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification icon because Football Therapy uploads every single day. You guys got to keep up so make sure you do hit that bell notification icon and if you want to help your bro out please do like this video. Right then, who is Jadon Sancho? Well, most of you probably know he's a 19 year old English superstar winger. In 2000 in 2017, young Jaden left Manchester City, his parent club at the time, to go play in the Bundesliga in Germany for Dortmund. A very brave move for the young Englishman. He became somewhat of a trailblazer making this move, and you know what? It was a superb idea. It's worked out incredibly well. And like I said, his profile now is massive and he's a bit of a superstar. He didn't fancy his chances of breaking into the Man City side and certainly proving his worth and demonstrating his ability. And although Pep Guardiola tried to keep him in Manchester, he was like, nah, mate, don't fancy it. Gonna go and play for Dortmund. They're wicked. They're gonna play me. I'm gonna show you what I'm all about. And he did all of that. At this point, at the age of 19, Jadon Sancho has... 39 goal contributions in just 39 starts for Dortmund in the league. 39 contributions in 39 starts. A contribution per start is an absolutely insane metric to keep up, or average in that metric, and to do it to 39 games is an absolute madness. But wait, there's more. This is actually quite an obscure number to reach, probably just for the record, but he's the youngest player in the Bundesliga to reach 15 goals. Think about that for a second. You'd think, mm, Bundesliga, German football, youngest player to reach 15 goals. You'd think, well, it would probably be a young German striker, but no. It's a teenage English winger. Lovely scenes, a bit different. So he's a record breaker in terms of scoring goals in the Bundesliga. He's got an absolutely insane average when it comes to goal contributions per starts so far in his Bundesliga career. And really, he's in the starting front three for Gareth Southgate's England. So he's an absolute beast. Remember, the dude's still just 19 and he's killing it. His profile's massive. He's a world-class superstar. But should he choose to leave Dortmund and Germany. Now he's raised his profile. Remember he left Manchester City because he didn't see anything happening from there. If you look at Phil Foden now, you can kind of understand the deal with that. But he's proved himself. He's in the England squad. And should he want a move to maybe back to England? I mean, if you think about it right, he probably wouldn't want to move to a Real Madrid or a Barca right now. If he did want to leave Dortmund, and let's have it right, he's got it pretty sweet at Dortmund he'd probably want to move back to England. He's achieved elite status, he's in the starting 11 for the England squad, you know, he's proved himself, and he might fancy coming back to his home country, getting that Premier League bills, but also, you know, playing in England again. Now, I'm gonna explain why Chelsea would make the most sense for him, but before I go into the clubs and stuff, I wanna preface this section with, Chelsea don't necessarily need Jadon Sancho. Okay, Chelsea, I've got a really good project going on. It looks like with Hudson Adoy and Christian Pulisic, they've got very talented wingers, as in for the future moving forward. And it's not necessarily a glaring weakness in terms of position for Chelsea. I'm just saying from his perspective, and obviously with Chelsea, they've got 200 million behind the sofa now, or whatever it is plus, because of the Eden Hazard's money, the Alvaro Morata money, and the general Premier League revenue, which they haven't been able to spend due to the transfer ban, so they got loads of cash. But what I'm saying is they don't necessarily need him. You get me? Right, so let's talk about the other clubs first. Would he want to return to Manchester City? Probably not. Pep Guardiola didn't play him originally, even if he said he would. It's a very, very hard team to muscle into, and you just got that sense of feeling you'd never want to go back. As good as Manchester City are, I don't think he'd want to go back. So to be honest, I think we can write them off straight away. So the obvious thing would be, well, why not go to Liverpool then? They're really good, they're flying high. But the thing is, the front three of Liverpool are probably the most cohesive, 
um, from three in terms of chemistry together. They're all prime age, like they're all gonna be there for a good few years. It'll be really hard to displace them. And Jaden Sancho is gonna absolutely want to start. So I don't know, I don't fancy him going to Liverpool. In terms of his career move, it wouldn't make much sense. And it might disrupt the immaculate harmony between Mane, Salah and Firmino. So that's the two English behemoths out the way, but moving forwards, there's a few other teams back there who we might join. Tottenham Hotspur are a team that like to play young English people, but if you look at Tottenham Hotspur at the moment, they're in trouble. If you think about it, it's a kind of team with the uncertainty with players wanting to leave. A lot of players, both their central defenders, Christian Eriksen, you know, Sergio or whatever, all these players that don't want to be there anymore. They're obviously performing really, really badly. They've been having huge high profile losses. Again, if the coach leaves, what's going to happen to Tottenham? They look like a really unstable club and probably not that much of an attractive proposition at the moment. So it's pretty much Tottenham out. Man United are obviously the biggest club in English football history, but the figures with Man United, they're an absolute mess at the moment. Let's have it right. Any player of his profile will have to be pretty nuts to go to Manchester United at the moment. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer won't be there for much longer. Their squad is really, really poor and they've got no identity. And although we'll get paid a lot of money and they'll probably try and implement a new project there, to be honest, he'd be nuts to go to Manchester United. Arsenal. Arsenal are okay. I mean, the, but the problem with Arsenal is they probably won't have the money to spend on them. They've had loads of issues spending money at the moment. They don't really have an identity, Arsenal. Emery's an okay manager and they're getting grinding out results. They haven't been very entertaining at the moment. And the fact of the matter is, Jadon Sancho is literally the last player that Arsenal need. They've got the young wingers and make the Niles and they've got people like Reese Nelson, they've got Obama Yang, Lacazette, Pepe. Like the last thing they need to do is spend money they don't have on Jadon Sancho. And to be honest, the last thing he'd probably want to do is go to Arsenal at the moment. So they're out. Now, this leaves Chelsea. First off, Jadon Sancho is a self-proclaimed Chelsea fan. Growing up, yep, he supported the Blues in West London. And you know what? Growing up at the age of 19 as a kid, watching Chelsea at their greatest, who's at the helm? Who's their greatest player? Oh yeah, it's Super Frankie Lampard, the current Chelsea manager. A Chelsea fan who probably looked up to Frank Lampard, who's currently managing Chelsea, but also, Chelsea have the money to buy Jadon Sancho. They absolutely do. They haven't done one of these like large, large purchases for a while. They've got loads of saved up money. They've got the Premier League revenue saved up. They could say to them, look mate, you're starting in our front three. We're selling William, we're gonna sell Pedro. Christian Pulisic can play in the 10 and he can be a rotational player. You can be on the starting right wing opposite that's right, your best mate, Callum hudson Adoy. Sancho and Cho have an incredibly close relationship. They're very, very good friends. And I can imagine they'd love nothing more to play together on the flanks for the teams they both support, or the team rather they both support. And who knows, if they're starting on each flank for Chelsea, they'll probably end up starting on each flank for England, maybe at times, that's a bit harsh and sterling, but you know what I mean, the chemistry would be great. But also, you look around the team and see what's going on. I'm not just talking about him being a Chelsea fan, him potentially loving Frank Lampard. He'll see the project at Chelsea and be like, dude, this 11 is riddled with young English players. Remember, he is the same sort of age as a lot of them and would have played with them at England level before. Certainly people like Callum hudson Odoi and Reese James, etc. There will be a point where Chelsea have loads of these youngsters on the pitch at the same time. They would have had that long-term chemistry of playing at, together on international level and training together. And like I said, Chelsea fans, Frank Lampard, the young English project, the open, attacking, direct football. Chelsea have the money to spend on him, probably can afford him a starting spot. It all makes so, so much sense. So if the move was wanted by Jadon Sancho away from Dortmund, and Chelsea did want to spend all their saved money, it's like a match made in heaven, really. It just depends on a few things where the Chelsea want to bring in a high profile player. And if he wants to leave Dortmund, because like I said, he's got a pretty sweet thing going over there. Maybe he just wants to stay in Germany and try and win the Bundesliga with Dortmund. But if he does want yet another high profile move, like does it make sense him going to Barcelona, Real Madrid, 
Sure, he looks like the type of character to go and do it because he's already made one big, you know, foreign move to another country. Why not do it again? For me, he's already done the good stuff and proved himself and got himself a high paying contract, the, you know, a big FIFA card. He starts for England. He's just a big, big Titanic player now. So I feel like he's proved himself. He can come back to an elite English club. And for all the reasons, like I said, it would make a lot of sense right now for him to join the dream in West London with Frank Lampard and the young Chelsea boys. What do you not think? I want to hear your comments and thoughts on this. Like I said, it's not necessarily a needed thing for Chelsea. It's just speculating if he wanted to come, he'd probably want to come to Chelsea if he wanted to leave, I mean. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and if you want to help me out, please do like the video. Remember guys, if you want to join myself and other members of the Football Therapy Goat Gang in our Discord server, you can join the Discord to chat about Chelsea and football. Link is in the description below via Patreon. It costs one dollar. And also, let me just breathe. Also, you can find me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter at Football Yannick. That's it from me, guys. You lot enjoy the football and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby